everybody, it's Oksana and today I'm going to show you how to make this necklace here. So if you want to see how to make this, then just keep watching. So the first thing you will need is two pieces of your base wires. Mine is 20 gauge. These are 9 inches each. You can use 18 gauge. That will make a sturdier necklace. And what you want to do is determine how wide you want the kind of top part of your necklace to be. It starts out wide and then it kind of gets narrower. So say you want like this much, find the middle and that's where you start your weave and you're going to go out this way. So first thing, um, I have my weaving wire. It's 28 gauge. I'm leaving it on the spool so there's no measurement for that. Um, this is artistic wire. It is um, enameled copper wire. This one is also silver plated. It's like a rose gold color. So I'm taking a nice long piece um, probably let's do it also nine inches so let me measure it against these wires since I already measured them out okay so this is about nine inches and I'm leaving that as my tail and now I'm starting so I decided you know I want this to kind of be the, the middle the the top part of my necklace here it is in the middle of these two wires so I'm starting here leaving this nice long tail and I'm starting with my wire in between in between these two base wires. I'm holding it here in the back so it doesn't, you know, come out. Let me kind of unravel these. They got twisted. Okay. So my wire is coming through these towards me. Get a little closer. Going down, up the back, over to the front, and then in between again from front to back, in between. Looks like two little loops, one over bottom, one over top. Up the back, over the top to the front, and down the front to the back, in between from back to front, down the back, up the back, over the top. We're repeating this now. This is a repeat. Up, down the front. So basically, another way to think about it is it looks like a little single loop over the bottom, a little single loop over the top, and then one around both is kind of what it looks like. Let me zoom in real quick so you can see. Uh, I've done this pattern a lot in my other tutorials. I also have a uh, demo on some different weaves on two wires, and this is um, included in that video. So if you need to kind of watch it again or watch it more closely, um, it is in those videos as well. So I'm going to continue like I estimated before, kind of to here, and then I'll be right back. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my weaving wire attached here, going back to this side, and I've moved, I've separated these two wires here, and this is my little tail that I left, a long tail on my wire. So I went and I just did some single coils all the way down. And if you want to take it and just kind of bend it and see like where the middle is, and take some kind of bead decoration once you get to that middle. You want to slide that on and then continue coiling your wire for a little bit here. I know I don't have much wire left, but this is just going to lock that bead on there so it doesn't slip off. And then you can use your pliers later to pinch that little end down. So now, I'm taking my weaving wire that's still connected, and I'm just coiling it. Just single coils around this bottom. So here's what this looks like from back up. So around this bottom wire for a little bit. All right, so once you're getting kind of close, you're gonna kind of pick this wire up and hold it. Once you're getting close to this pearl on this wire, I'm getting really close there. You're going to cut this weaving wire. Leave yourself a ton, maybe like 24 inches or so, so it's not too hard to work with here. All right, so now kind of lining these up a little bit, and I'm going to weave or coil rather around both of them to connect them to each other. 
and then this wire you might need to kind of lift it a little bit because if it hits your pearl you're going to have a hard time wrapping it around so right around three times four times I'm going to leave it at three and now we're just going to do a few single loops around this wire here just to secure like that okay so flipping it back over getting back to this here so now and you, if you want to shorten this a little bit depends on how big you want a swirl to be we're going to make a swirl with this wire if you want just a tiny one maybe right here in the corner obviously cut this I'm going to leave mine full length so you can see what that looks like. I'm taking some round nose pliers. I'm taking the tip of that. And some of this coil almost happens like by hand because it's not of a very tight. So you can't really use your pliers for all of it. And this is why sometimes it's nice to use a thicker gauge if you want to use 18 gauge or thicker. That works well because we have some, you know, um, 20 gauge wire here, so it's obviously a little more fragile. So that's it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to continue for just a little bit until I get over, like past this pearl, doing my single coil. All right, and once my coils kind of past the curl. Also note this. See how this slides? So we're going to lock it in place by doing the following. Tighten it up, hold it in place, have this meet up, this wire meet up with this wire, take your weaving wire, and go around two or three times. I'm going to leave it at two. Okay? And now we're doing our single coil. So now this doesn't really move around anymore. And kind of adjust with your fingers so everything is even. This wire is so now going to go this way. And we're just going to do single coiling on it. And for decoration, if you wanted to add some little rhinestone crystals or any kind of little beads, you could definitely do that. I have um, these little clear, clear little crystal beads. I'm just going to slide one on. And just continue coiling. And then I'll slide a few more on as I go for decoration. So I'm going to keep going with this until I get to about there. All right, so once it reaches up top here, I'm going to attach, use this wire to attach these two wires to each other. I'm just doing two or three of these little coils right around. If you pull tight, it pops the wire pops in between these coils. So it makes it really hard to notice that you even attached it. Makes it blend in really well. So then we're just going to keep coiling around this wire and now it's going to go in this direction. Like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a different bead and just a little bit here as I kind of approach the end of this wire. 
I'm going to grab a pink crystal bead that I have. And put it on. And then continue. So I'm almost at the very end. So once I have just enough to grab on with my pliers, I'm going to cut this wire off. I'm going to pinch that little end with my pliers. I'm taking my round nose pliers now, grabbing that little end there. Oops. Making a little loop, kind of like touching the bead and looping it inwards this way. So now, if you're looking at it this way, here's what you have. You kind of have two curls going this way. And if you wanted to, come back in and weave around this with your um, wire, you could do that as well. This way, the, both of these curls will have the weaving wire around them if you wanted to do that. So now, I'm going to work on these tops here. Let's start with this one on the right. And I have a piece of wire here. It's a pretty long piece of wire. It's probably maybe like 30 inches or so. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, leave a little tail, which I will later cut off. Go ahead and just coil around this base wire. until it is long enough to reach. Let me bend it into place so you can see where we're going with it. Like that. And then you can put like a little bend with your nail into it. Like this. So keep going until you get to that little bend at which point we're going to attach it to right here. And when we are attaching it, we're just doing it in the same manner that we have been doing, just by pulling our, oh, my weaving wire got stuck. All right. Pulling our weaving wire through, just doing two times. And then we're going to continue with this wire here. We're going to be going in this direction. We're going to go to about, let me bend this a little more. There we go. about right here. So you can use your nail to create that bend so you know where to stop. So once I get to right there, I'm going to stop and attach. So once we're up here, we are again attaching. And then we're just going to keep going with our coiling. We're going to go until right there, like that. All right, now we're going to attach that again. Almost done, I know. Been very repetitive um, on this side here. All right. And 
And what we're going to do on this side, is so we're just going to make like a little loop. Like that. You can cut off the excess. Use my round nose pliers. There. So I'm just going to weave until until I get to oh sorry I'm going to weave until I get to where these two meet up and then I will cut my weaving wire and this portion will be done. Just like this. We can cut this little tail end here as well. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm not going to show that. It's literally the same exact thing. Um, if you're having trouble making it perfectly symmetrical, what you can do is trace this on paper. So then when you're doing this side, you can just flip it over and kind of follow that shape so that you get matching sides. All right, so both of my sides are completed. Now we're going back in here. I kind of made my curl a little bit shorter to make the other things that we're gonna put in here fit. So I'm starting with two pieces of the same base wire I've been using, 20 gauge base wire, about two and a half inches. And I'm gonna take one of these pieces. And I just made a curl on the very end of it. Now I am taking my weaving wire that I've been using. And I am just starting to do a few coils around. Push them to the end here. Oops, this one got messed up. There we go. Um, now I need to cut this weaving wire. I don't know how long this is. I'll show you guys. Like, <laughs> this much, a bunch extra. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to hold it up here and I'm attaching it by wrapping around the entire thing. of single wraps. Now it's attached. Now I'm taking my other one, my other wire, putting it next to it, leaving, you know, a little bit of room here so we can do something with the end. Um, I'm just kind of curving it so I can get it right up next to that wire. And I'm going to do the same pattern 
that I did up here. So one loop around the bottom, one around the top, one around both. You don't have to do the same exact pattern. But I'm just going to do this for just a little bit. All right, so here's how much of that weave I did. Once it starts touching this little curl, I'm going to go ahead and attach to it. Oops. Oh, my wire went right, right through that tiny, tiny loop there, which I don't want. So I'm going to do that again. All right. So I'm attaching mostly in the same way as before, except now we have two wires that we're attaching. So going over both of them. And now I will continue with the weave that I have been doing. Alright, so once I start getting close to the top, I'm taking that top wire, I'm bending it, and I'm wrapping just around the top wire, bend it more. Okay. And I'm going to attach it. And then I'm going to do a few single wraps to finish this off. Finish off this weaving wire. I'm going to cut it. Pinch it down. And now all that's left to do is to fix these little ends here. So I'm going to start back over here with this end that's just sticking out flat. I'm just going to take it and curl it. Oops. Like that. And then this one here, I'm just going to curl just a little more. There we go. So it kind of is heading in the same direction. There we go. Look at that. Then this one. And this one, what I'm going to do is pull it down like this, but then curl it in the opposite direction. So like that. And then just kind of bend everything so it fits.
All right, so all that is left to do is attach the chain. I'm gonna attach it just right here to these little ends. All right, so here's what it looks like when it's done and has the chain attached. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.